to try and do a quick painting for relaxation. Let's have a go. So I've got to try and do something. Just do a dummy run here. See how I get on. Here's a big piece of paper. It's a multi scene. Everyone will, will recognise it once I get going. Painted in a sort of wacky, slightly wacky style. sink here already I've got the bits sort of wobbly over there <laughs> excuse me sniffing <clears throat> see that's the effect I wanted anyway now I'll look how it's done mm. sorry I know I'm talking to myself To lie and pretend to see there, I think. Got that wrong as well. Put a couple of donors on just to make it look like water. Gonna fill this space with something. I'm gonna put a door in it. Fake door doesn't exist in real life. No, there isn't a door there, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna pretend there's a door there. <clears throat> Sun, go crazy, sunburst. I'm going to put a boat in here. Uh, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to put a big boat in there, which isn't actually there in real life. It looks a bit Viking, that one mine. I know it's not a Maltese boat, but it's the idea I'm going for. I'll just leave it like that. Put some sticks on the front. I think that's the effect. Um, a few boats in the harbour. Okay, that's enough, I think. I'll put a lantern, I'll put a lantern on. Mm, yes, I'll put a lantern on here. Not a Maltese lantern, I'm just going to use it to fill up the... fill up the paper, put a tree in here, put some green in here. Green in there as well, okay. 
see what it looks like when it's done. The C is the killer. And the colour right. I think I can get away with that colour. It's a sky. So this is a wash. I mean, I've just noticed the crayon I've used is a watercolour crayon. So it's gonna, I've just noticed that the borders are going to run everywhere. Never mind. It'll be interesting. Put some on there as well. Just muted out of it. I think maybe try that. Now this isn't the sea obviously but it's it will help me fill it up with a, with a sympathetic colour. It's a, a, what I call a distance colour. Try that for fun. See where that ends up. Again, it's not a blue, but I'm going to use the colour just to use it. I think I'll try something like there as well. <laughs> I'm going to do a blue, a blue sun today for fun. Okay, that's a bomb dark, so I'm going to keep going with that darker blue. That's a good sea colour, harbour colour. Got to be quick, otherwise it'll dry, and I won't get it even. It's already st st stretch stretching me a bit. I think it's looking okay so far. I mean, we disagree. Okay, go in there. It's a little alright. I would have liked it a bit darker, but it's okay. I can use the same blue elsewhere. So you just put that in blue there. Okay, there it is. This is difficult as well.
Well, it's going on all right so far. These pictures can be ruined just at the slightest mistake. It's quite terrifying. Some would say it's not a good picture anyway. I mean, I'm not saying it's a good picture, but it, it's good fun doing it. I'm enjoying myself. A few splashes on mine. Okay, I'm going to just have a change in for a bit of minutes. I have to do some, do some greens. Don't care what green comes out really, as long as it's green, it'll do. Quite good actually for the birds. I'm going to try and do that in green. It probably wouldn't have been green, but I'm going to make it green because it contrasts nicely. Do the same there. And the as well. Why not? Uh, right, this is the tricky bit. Hold on, just finish that. Treat, treat, treat with the shadow. That's all right. I know it's not green here in real life, but I'm going to use green as a filler because it's a sort of distance, distancey, shadowy colour. I suppose you could say if this was the letter. You could say, oh, Barbara's, St. Barbara's Bastion's got trees, even you could argue that. So there's, it's a hint of, there is a hint of green there in real life. I know it's not, not much, but I think I can get away with, get away with that. I'm going to just try this here as well.
So it's not a real picture. It's just a sort of like it's ideas put on paper really and shapes. And I'll look at it in the years to come. Let's see what it looks like in five years. Of, see what it looks like in a week. The, the yellow is going to go the last colour. That's what, I, what I'm working towards. I better put some reds in. Yeah, I suppose the church tops can be red. That might be a good choice. I've got it going on, put some in here. And I'm going to fill it up here with the same distance colour. And people can work out what it is in their own minds. is going to be too critical this bit. That's not worked so quite as well as I'd hoped, but it's good. It's, it'll be okay. Okay, yellow. It's a dirty yellow, this this set of but it's got a very poor yellow, so I'm gonna to have to grind away a bit. Okay. I think it'll be okay actually. Oops. Leave it on in there. Watercolour is quite lovely to use. Um, I always have a glass of wine. To help me along. So we've done a little picture of Malta. It's an imagined place. And I think it's rather good fun doing this relaxation. Um, I don't know what it looked like when I hold it up because I'm sitting close to it so I'm hoping the bastion isn't too dominant. I think we're getting bread, don't we? Okay, I think I'll leave it there. It's wet here, so I can't pick it up. 
Okay, this is today's effort. Don't laugh, please. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.